Hey there, it's M Faze here from thefortuneblog.com and welcome to my Infinity Cloud review. As you can see, I have access to the members area of Infinity Cloud and in this video we'll be going over the demo of the product, the features of this product, the pricing, OTOs and much more. So in a nutshell, Infinity Cloud is a one-time cloud storage solution and in the front end itself you can get access to 10 terabytes 10 TB of cloud storage and I know that's a lot and all you're doing is paying a one-time fee for that together with this you can share all of the files in your cloud storage you can view the statistics of the files and you can view different things like the number of visitors that have seen the file the downloads of the file the browsers that people have come uh, through and seen the file and various other useful statistics now if this interests you then stick around as i'll be going into more detail i've also prepared a set of custom bonuses for those of you who would like to pick up a copy of this via my link which is down below in the description of this youtube video once you click that link you'll come through to my bonus review page that looks like this on this page you can simply click this button that says click here to secure your copy and your bonuses that will bring you through to the sales page where you can go ahead and pick it up and once you do you'll be getting instant accesses to all of the bonuses i have provided you now let's take a look at the bonuses i have provided you then go through the sales page and then the actual demo of the product and finally we'll finish up with the pricing otos and all of that now as you can see this page has taken information i have taken information from the sales page to keep it simplified for you and you can also go through it in your own time now let's see the bonuses i have prepared for you my first bonus is my infinity cloud walkthrough and this is basically my perspective of infinity cloud and it is basically added value and the next is the hundred dollar per day with free traffic training this is another amazing value that you can use and it's a method that works for almost anybody my third bonus is buyers list building hack now you know one of the methods of building a buyers list is uh, offering them freebies and what you can do is upload your freebie into this cloud storage and you can see all the statistics of your email subscribers and you can promote this freebie to other people and you can view the details of where these subs where these subscribers are coming from and various other things at the end of the day it depends on your imagination but this is definitely going to be useful for you as you know money is in the list my next bonus is urgency suites pro and this is basically going to teach you how to add urgency that's going to give you more conversions and more conversions definitely will lead to more sales and more income and my final bonus is access to the vip vendor bonuses that he has given me to give to you and you will be getting instant access to all of these bonuses that i have just mentioned and more once you click any of these buttons that will bring you through to the sales page where you can go ahead and pick it up and once you do you can simply come through to your warrior plus account click purchase history now once you click purchase history you can go and click infinity cloud and you'll be able to see a page that looks like this once you're on this page simply click this blue button that says access affiliate bonuses and you'll be getting instant access to all of these bonuses that i have just shown you now let's take a look at the sales page and see what they have to say now they're saying this is basically the last online cloud storage cloud storage solution you'll ever need at a one-time low price and they're saying this is a new SSD cloud technology technology that lets you store and uh, basically deliver your videos, audios, images, and media files at light, light fast speed, lightning fast speed for a one-time fee. Now let's quickly skim through this as usual, and you can go through it in your own time. The main points, the main highlights here are it's SSD cloud storage, one-time fee. You can upload and manage your videos, images, audios, documents, and all of that. And the upload speed is quite good as I have just seen a few minutes ago in, while making my walkthrough video. And you can upload any kind of file and document and all of that is good. And you can simply drag and drop. Again, it's more convenience for you. And you get shareable links for different social media platforms as well. And you can also share them via email. And you can log in and access uh this infinity cloud platform from anywhere in any device in the world and you can also upload files in the background and i have also seen that while making my walkthrough video it's pretty convenient especially if you're uploading big files like movies and all of that now let's just skim through this as you can see they're saying there are three steps here to use this uh, platform basically log in upload your uh, your basically upload your files and you can share your content anywhere now this is basically more information about infinity cloud and they're showing you a different comparison comparison with the different uh, cloud storage solutions 
and let us quickly see this introducing infinity cloud and you have some features here again the three steps are mentioned here and this is i believe a demo video of infinity cloud and i also have that on my bonus review page and let us see you have some testimonials here and features in a nutshell and this is basically comparison with google cloud dropbox and icloud as you can see i have mentioned 10 tb right here and that's all in the front end but you get also more in the upsells as you can see here um, you also have a money back guarantee of 30 days that's also a good thing so your investment will be risk-free plus you also have some helpful faqs and let's get right into the demo now this is the page that you will see once you log into your account of infinity cloud and on the top right hand side you can see the version i have access to which is the regular and the pro version so mind you this is also the pro version and the main difference is i believe that you'll be able to see you know you have the unlimited storage status of course in the pricing section you will be able to see the main difference between the regular and the pro version and right here you have the account settings shared files and trash can of course i also tried to look for training here but i feel uh, there is no training because it's such a simple cloud software solution and you can also take a look at my walkthrough if you need any training or you can ask me you can leave a comment below and i'll get back to you now after these account settings shared files and trash can which is basically where the files will go once you delete them we can see these they have there are many folders right here we can also create new folders using this button and we can basically categorize them according to their file types for example music mp3 video is mp4 and you know all of that documents are usually pdfs and so on and so forth and we can also open specific folders right here and you can see the files that have been shared with you i believe this is uh, files of different infinity cloud uh, accounts that have been shared with you and the recent files that you have opened up that's pretty self-explanatory all the files that you have the trash can which is basically where the files that you've deleted go and you can also permanently delete it right here as you can see we can see the stats select and we have the option to restore or permanently delete it and this is the storage status I'll, I'll simply upload a file and show you the different features because we're getting to the main part right here once i click upload you can see two options right here file upload and remote url upload here you can see you have more options so you can send it via any email address you can add it to a folder by default you can also set a password uh, in case the uh, basically when downloading the files these parts will i think these passwords will be required now you can enter up to 50 urls and separate url on its own line you can save the options and you can add the urls now in file upload you can see the settings below are still the same and the max file size at once is 1.58 gb now i know it's not going to be enough for all things like i know many movies that's like over 2 gb but i'm sure they're going to have a solution for that in any oto and we'll take a look at that very soon now we can drag and drop i'll simply click to browse as you can see here uh, let's click this uh, image and we can also add multiple images at the same time multiple files at the same time and let's click upload to queue as you can see the speed 2.33 mpps i want to show that it's pretty good and you can also click hide in case you want to take a look at the file later and uh, as you just saw on the bottom right hand corner it showed a notification that the image has been uploaded now let's take a look at all files and you remember there was 21 before now there are 22 and our image has been uploaded now let's get into this image and show you the next features of this product as you can see we can view the file right here now this preview of this image is loading and we have the shareable links right here the direct link the statistics url the info page and the, the delete file url now you can always like bookmark the statistics url if you want to you know see it regularly like perhaps daily and in view file you have the page link i'll just scroll down okay i'm trying but perhaps it's not possible anyway as you saw you had the page link url and the html code and in the share we have gone through this already and you can also send it to someone through email and you can see the metadata here which is for seo purposes but it's not that important i believe 
and the account name by which account this file has been uploaded and the size of the file and the downloads of this file and these are the tags right here and when it's been downloaded and you can see the view and download option right here and what kind of a file it is you know it's a public file means it can directly be accessed anyone that knows the file url and you can edit the file using this button delete it and where it will go to the trash can and you can click file stats here and download the file in its original format of jpeg now let's click file stats as it's also another important part of infinity cloud and once it's downloading i can show you what's inside file stats now as you can see we have very detailed statistics here and you can see the number of visitors the time the total visits and all of that right here and you can see this helpful graph that will show you the details as well and you can see based on last 24 hours 7 days 30 days last 12 months and different countries you can see which uh, from which country the person has viewed or downloaded your file the top referrers where are they coming from perhaps you've shared some you have shared this link on facebook twitter you want to know which is performing better are there more users coming from twitter or more coming from facebook right all of these are good use cases of this tab and we can see which browsers they're coming from do you have more google users more microsoft edge users right you can see all of that and operating systems can also be seen for example are these files more open more on your uh, mobile phones or tablets or you know windows mac and all of that stuff and you can see the number of downloads here as well so this is basically it and uh, all of this is well worth um, I believe it's around 16 yes it's around 16 almost 17 bucks and uh, again the best part i like about this is that the storage is very good right 10 tb is enough for a lot of things in fact i myself want to get it and i am going to get it definitely and uh, apart from storage what i found good is that i have also seen previously some other cloud storage options right one-time options but the problem there was it, the download and the upload speed was very slow and I found out that uh, based on my experience the download speed on infinity cloud is pretty good and it's almost like what you would experience when you're uploading files to google drive and that's what I like about this infinity cloud and now what I feel it's different uh, in infinity cloud compared to other one-time cloud storage solutions now back to the pricing you can see these uh, features here unlimited uh, files of any type and you know the speed is pretty good shareable link and all of that stuff and on the, you have some helpful upsells as well but as usual i'm telling you you do not need the upsells but if you feel that the upsells are going to help you you can definitely get them and you have the pro version going for 37 you can watermark certain uh you know file previews and you can also set the files and folders as public or private as you remember here uh this is a public file right you cannot change that on the front end but you can change it with the pro version right here and you can see the more detailed file statistics so i think these detailed file statistics are in the pro version that i have access to but you'll still be able to see some file statistics here i guess shareable link and okay so you might not be able to see the pro the file statistics on the front end let's quickly see what the differences the so preview your file okay previewing is a pro version feature so it's not there in the front end and watermarking can be done here and you can see the with the daily weekly and monthly downloads and all of that and commercial license and so on and so forth and you have the max version at 67 bucks you can remove all limited unlimited uploads and downloads and remove some daily limitations of unlimited uploads and downloads and you can also have unlimited url uh, remote url uploading and you have upload multiple files simultaneously now in enhanced security you have at 47 bucks 100 percent protection of data with ironclad data protection and advanced security you can add more security layers by putting passwords on your files folders and advanced encryption and upsell for you have unlimited web hosting so you can host your websites as well and domains as well and you get unlimited bandwidth with unlimited databases which is basically the storage of your website and unlimited free end-to-end -end SLS encryption, pretty useful. You have the agency version at 87 bucks and the reseller at 67, which will allow you to basically sell Infinity Cloud as your own product and keep 100% of the profits. So yeah, this is basically the pricing of Infinity 
of infinity cloud as usual i you can simply get the front end and get access to all of the bonuses i am providing you and if you like any upsell you can get that for yourself as well so i hope you found this useful useful if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll get back to you soon and i'll see you in the next one